Hey everyone, just excited to be on with Kyle Windebank and uh, currently out at Taylor University playing football. Uh, welcome, Kyle. Thanks so much for uh, checking in with me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> you bet. So Kyle, if you can uh, let everybody know kind of the, the years that you played and maybe something that was special about being part of Pine Creek football here in the past. Sure. So I, I played um, my freshman year in 2009 and graduated in 2013. And so I was a part of my junior season, a part of the first uh, Pine Creek team to go to the state championship game. And so that was one of the most special moments, I think. Probably my, my favorite year of playing at Pine Creek football was my junior year. I had a great group of friends and uh, just a good team. And, you know, obviously we, we lost to Valor Christian in that state championship game, but it was uh, one heck of a ride for us. Yeah, outstanding. And uh, let everybody know kind of what positions that you have played maybe in, in, in high school and, and maybe where you're setting right now in your collegiate program. Sure. So in high school, my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, I played quarterback, uh, solely quarterback. Did a little bit of defensive work at linebacker uh, and strong safety. And then my senior year at Pine Creek, I was all over the field, played uh, tight end, fullback, some wide receiver and a little bit of quarterback here and there. And uh, since high school, moving to college, I have uh, become a slot wide receiver. And that's where I've been here at Taylor for now this is my fourth season. And uh, I also return uh, kicks and punts. Outstanding. That's great. Um, anything that you wish you would have known in high school that you now know because of college football? Uh, I think something I've learn from Taylor football, and, and this is not just something that relates to football, but will relate uh, for you know a lot of life experiences, just having fun where you're at and being really present in the moment. I think in high school, I took football extremely serious, which is a great thing, um, but I took it too serious in, in the sense that I didn't have fun on the field. Um, and since graduating high school and moving to college, my coaches and my teammates have showed me that you know, there's more to life than football, um, even though it is very important. And when you're on the field, it's important just to have fun and uh, give it your all in that way. Those are great words. Those are great words. Um, well, how's the team looking this year? Are you in camp yet? And maybe some thoughts about how this season's going to go for you guys. Yeah, so we start camp next week. This is our off week. Um, and we've had about, well, we've had 22 starters out um, in Upland, Indiana for the summer, training together. So that's been our biggest group that we've had out uh, in recent years. And we've been doing our weightlifting program, conditioning program. And so we started up camp next week, and our first game is going to be on August 27th versus Davenport University up in Michigan. So we're going to have a short turnaround, uh, play an 11-game season, and we're coming off a 7-3 record last year and, and looking to improve. So I think we've got... Um, a great offensive uh, attack. We have all returning offensive linemen except for our center. A great quarterback, and our defense is going to look pretty strong as well with the returning uh, outside linebackers and middle linebackers. A pretty solid D line. So we're excited for the year and uh, ready to see what it brings. Well, that sounds good. Um, so, Kyle, in researching this group that are still playing, I'm finding that we've got 20 active players, and some of the guys like Chris Cantera and uh, some of the folks that also played but are done this year would even add yeah. to that count. Um, is there something that you can tell the current players about um, finding the right place for them? Because we've had folks play NAIA, D3, D2, FCS, FBS, all the way through, but uh, what do you think is, is something important for them to think about if they want to play at the next level? Yeah, I'd say, excuse me, I'd say it's important not to get stuck on on the name of the school. So, you know, a lot of guys in high school especially are focused on, I'm going to go to a Division One school, it's big, a uh, big name program, Alabama, Ohio State, that's my focus. And for me, that was my focus, I think, freshman and sophomore year until I, I realized, you know, I'm not the best player on the field. I can't go to one of those big-name schools. Um, but what I can do is I can go to a Division three school or I can go to NAI school and have just as much fun playing the game at an extremely high level. The competition is, is much higher than it is in high school, even at small.
smaller schools. So I think my advice for, for players now at Pine Creek and high school in general would be, you know, if you really want to play football at the next level and you enjoy the sport enough, you don't need to go to a Division One school to get that experience. You can come and play at an NAI school in, in Upland, Indiana, in the middle of a cornfield. Uh, you know, there's schools, NAI schools all over the nation that are um, competing at a high level. So it's not the, the name of the school that's a big focus, but, you know, the sport that we have. So I think that's that's kind of what I would want to pass on to Pine Creek players currently. Well, I think that's, that's really wise words. And maybe I can leave you with this question. Um, some of the dads have looked at, at the program and think, wow, Pine Creek football gets guys ready to play at the next level. But what did you appreciate that you learned at Pine Creek that made it a little easier to, to do what you're doing at the collegiate level? Yeah. I think the weightlifting program at Pine Creek was probably the biggest thing for me um, being able to give it a shot. Coach Miller does a really good job of pushing guys in the weight room. And that starts, you know, their eighth grade summer and carries through all the way through graduation. And without um, those hard days in the summer and the constant rigors of, hey, we're getting in the weight room and we're getting after it every single day in the off season, um, I don't think I would have been able to succeed at the collegiate level. Uh, coming into the freshman, I was on par with the other guys on my team as far as moving weight. And obviously I had things to learn uh, on the field, but uh, that set me apart from the other freshmen in my class. And I was able to lead that way because I was, I knew what it took to work hard in the weight room. So um, I'd say that's something Pine Creek did a really good job of is preparing guys physically uh, to take on the challenge of collegiate sports. Well, Kyle, I want to thank you. Again, this is something new that we are trying, and I think that the wisdom of some of the collegiate players to give back to some of the guys that are currently pl playing um, will be super helpful. Thanks so much. We wish you super well on your, your season, and again, thanks for, for talking with us today. Of course. God bless.